Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ahmed and today for stepforward.com I am going to demonstrate to you that how Apache web server can be used to run multiple name based home hosting sites for the same machine. By default when Apache is installed and we open up any browser in my case Firefox and go to localhost is giving me a message that it is working meaning localhost is basically uh, being received by Apache and Apache is redirecting it to a specific folder on which this file is placed. Now where exactly is this file? This file is placed under this path var slash www and uh, if we open up this path we can see that there is a file HTML, in of HTML. If I open this file manually in Firefox, I can see that this file is exactly the same that was served to me by localhost. However, in this case, I am bypassing Apache web server. Anyway, another way to test that Apache is actually running or not for Ubuntu, what I can do is I can run this command sudo service sudo to get the rights, admin rights, service is the name of the command which service do we want to test? We want to check Apache and we want to check its status. It asks me for the password and yes it is telling me that Apache 2 is running and the process ID is 1370. Okay, Now the first task is to change this for file folder location. Why? Because this is a protected folder. If I cannot create any folder or file, I cannot even rename this file. So uh, first of all let me again demonstrate to you that why is it so. If we can check the rights of this folder by using this command, it is telling me that this file, this folder has only one contents and that is index.html file which we just saw and the, uh, this file belongs to the root user root group and for others like myself, Ahmed, we only have read access. Of course we can make change, changes to this by using the sudo command but again that is not very comfortable. So what we need to do is we need to relocate this folder to some other place which is more comfortable for us. For instance on the desktop I will um, localhost. I will make a folder named localhost and place a file in this folder. This file will be index.html and uh, I'm going to edit this file with a text editor and nothing special about it just we can give it a message that local host is running okay now close this file we need to make the changes for the changes we need to go to this path etc apache 2 so Apache 2, let me ls, this is the main con configuration file, this is another configuration file and these two are some useful folders. Sites available is a folder on which or uh, multiple we can create files for multiple hosting but they are not enabled by default. The only uh, those sites that are enabled are placed uh, using a symbolic link in sites hyphen enabled folder. Anyway, we don't have to go into that much detail what is a symbolic link, we will just use a command. For the time being, I need to edit sites enable. Sites enable by default only has two files. One is, let me ls first, one is default and the other is default hyphen sls. So what we will do is we will vim we will vim this file folder and we will use the default and edit it. Yes, you can see over here that this is the full path where it is placed. We will comment this and modify it. Home, Ammer, Desktop and on the desktop I created a folder named localhost. So these are all the changes we need. Save it and quit and now we need to restart Apache. To restart Apache this is what I need. Or reload. Reload is good enough. 
it's working this is just a warning will come to that later now if i refresh my page it's telling me the localhost is running great that's exactly what we were going were, were, uh, what we placed on that folder now the next thing is that we need to fix this error message okay this error message um, which we were getting is basically because um, where is that okay this is because that is uh, that we do haven't named any um, we haven't provided any name to our server name server name is basically a kind of a variable that is, that is placed in apache2.conf file so let's edit that file apache2.conf print it up browse down this list and uh, for instance over here i can give it a name server name local host write and save again reload apache you see that me that message that warning message has been removed now and uh, if you can just refresh it's working again now we're coming to the actual part that is um, running another site name under this folder so first of all under apache sorry first of all we need to create another folder for that i'll call it site1.com just copy this place it in site1 edit it using a text editor and uh, we will call it site1.com okay and save okay we have it now but of course nothing will work unless we make the changes the, for the changes um we need to go to this folder and create a file just like a file exists for default we need to create a file for site1.com so um sites available default i'll just make a copy of it so that we don't uh, get into get into any syntax errors and uh, i'll call it site1.com cannot read oh, what's wrong with this Act permission denied sudo okay now what i'm going to do is sudo vim sites available site1.com and uh, for the very basic purpose we don't need any of these settings so i can just simply remove all of them and uh, just rename this site1.com plus we need to make another change that we need to give it a server name that was that server name in apache.com file was for the default sites for this site we need to give a separate name site1.com save now another step is i told you in the beginning that we need to enable this site also so for enabling a site we have a command sudo for the rights a2 short for apache ne en for enable site enable site and for the command i can give i can simply give uh, site1.com enter it and it's telling me that okay the configurations are ready now i just need to reload it to reload the apache uh, site i'll just re click on reload and it's working now if i open site1.com mm, it's searching for the internet and uh, not giving any response why is it so it is because that uh, it is it, it is considering a site1.com to be somewhere on the internet so we need to tell this apache machine uh, this uh, ubuntu machine that don't go looking for the inter on the internet this site is placed on this system so this is our next task for this purpose there is a file in virtually every system which is called a host file host file is placed in case of ubuntu or any other linux machine it is placed under the etc folder this file is basically an ip to name kind of a, a conversion or a mapping file so first of all we need to go to this folder oops i'm sorry okay we need to go to this folder and uh, sudo vim this file host with an s open it up 
so basically all we need to do is add another entry over here for our site1.com so that site1.com whenever it is asked by the browser this host file will be consulted and because the entry is found over here it will know that this is its corresponding IP address so it won't go as it is resolved so it won't go to the internet now coming back to the browser I'm just going to refresh this page over here and yes it is working now perfectly working localhost is working refresh it site 1 is working so this is just a beginning we can just uh, simply have more than one site I have multiple folders over here multiple files and we can you know you can uh, just simply create so many sites over here so I hope you make good use of this video and inshallah we'll see you with some other collection of videos till then Allah Hafiz